those are rid- ridiculous but yeah man definitely yeah. definitely save all of that that's so dope that you 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 know you got your super bowl jersey too what was that whole experience like was that the craziest thing you've ever done in your life or what bro so crazy um so my whole experience with that was more of um Usually I go out to pregame, you know, work out, warm up, run around. You know, you always see guys on TV, you know, throwing the ball around, whatever. I didn't even go. I didn't even go out to pregame. Um, I didn't want to like. What do they call it? Like they tell us to simmer, you know, for for like prime time games and night games. You know, you want your energy level to simmer. You don't want to peak too fast. So I didn't want to go out to pregame and see all the crazy stuff, craziness going on, and then. I peak because I'm excited. So, um, you know, I'm getting ready inside. And it was like, as soon as we came outside of the the tunnel, man, it was like lights everywhere, cameras everywhere. (laughs) You had um, Beyonce and Jay-Z over here. You had Floyd Mayweather over here with all these, all this jewelry on, you know, Steph Curry over here. It was like people everywhere, you know? And then the lights, they just seemed like they were a thousand times brighter. Um, but I think for for that game, though, know, the biggest thing, like I told myself and I was kind of preaching also to like, we're not going to let this moment pass up on us, right? So regardless if you won, because we have guys who won Super Bowl, who won national championships, like I was guy from Pop Warner football, junior high, high school, college. Like I never won like a national championship or like a Super Bowl, right? Well, you get bowl games in college and, you know, stuff like that. But I was like, you, you hear about guys playing 15 years, never going to the Super Bowl, like getting to the Super Bowl and never winning. So I was just like, I'm not gonna let this moment pass up. I'm not gonna let this moment pass up. And just throughout the game, as the game was going, you know, the clock eventually just hit zero, and it was just like, man, like confetti start falling, and it's just like, we did it. And then I remember kind of like going into my locker and like just like feeling feeling exhausted, but like completed, but then like also like incomplete because now it's just like, all right, I'm tired. We did that. We won. But now. Like, what do we do now? You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, like now it's like, all right, now another one, you know? So it was definitely a crazy feeling for sure. sure. Oh, man. Yeah. Do you, when you're on the field, though, is there any thought in the back of your head that 200 million people are watching or whatever the number is? Or do you try not to think about that too much? (laughs) Yeah, I think, I think um, I'm so used to it now. Like in high school, I remember high school, my senior year, we played like a, I think like a district game or something like that. 10,000 people at the game. It's not even a playoffs. It's not even state championship. 10,000 people. Jeez, man. You know, I, I go to college, I'm playing in front of 100,000 people, you know? So I think now it's just to the point to where, and I play defense too, right? So it's like I can use the fan to my my advantage sometimes, especially like we're playing at home or stuff like that. Like you can use the fan to your advantage because you, you play defense, you make a good play, a good tackle or interception or whatever, you know, you can like, like come on, you know what I'm saying? You can turn them up, you know, so you can kind of use that energy to bounce off you. So I think kind of me, I kind of think it's an advantage. Hmm. And it's. That's great. I mean, you can hey. take. I swear you can take anything and use it to an advantage, just a matter of how you think about it.